With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. If K1 and K2 are the maximum kinetic energies of the photoelectrons emitted when light of wavelength lambda 1 and lambda 2 respectively are incident on a metal surface, if lambda 1 equals 3 lambda 2, then which of these among four conditions will be satisfied for kinetic energy? That is the question. So, when they are asking with respect to the kinetic energy and wavelength, again we have to go back to the Einstein's photoelectric equation. So, in Einstein's photoelectric equation, the equation says like kinetic energy is equal to the energy of the incident photon minus the work function phi naught. Now, you have two conditions, one K1 and other K2. So, we shall apply the same equation for both the conditions and their corresponding wavelength. So, that you will get K1 will be equal to, we shall write energy in terms of wavelength. E is equal to H nu or nu is equal to C by lambda. So, you will get E as H C by lambda. So, this we shall substitute here. It becomes H C by lambda 1 minus phi naught. So call this as equation 1. Similarly write it for k2 you will get it as hc by lambda 2 minus phi naught. Call it with equation 2. Now you need a relation between um, k1 and k2 right. So we will take k1 minus k2 that is 1 minus 2 when you are taking equation 1 minus equation 2. So, K1 minus K2 will be equal to H nu naught gets cancelled. So, it will be retained with HC into 1 by lambda 1 minus 1 by lambda 2. Now, they have given you one relation lambda 1 equals 3 lambda 2. So, when you use that relation here, we know that lambda 1 is equal to 3 lambda 2. So, using this relation here, you get the equation as k1 minus k2 is equal to hc into in place of lambda 1 we shall substitute 3 lambda 2 minus 1 by lambda 2. Now when you simplify this uh, k1 minus k2 we shall take it as it is you will get here in terms of brackets you will get it here as 3 my lambda 2 so I'll write one more step hc into See, lambda 2 minus 3 lambda 2 by 3 lambda 2 square is the value you have got. Correct? So, in this, it becomes hc into minus 2 lambda 2 divided by 3 lambda 2 square. So, this one lambda 2 gets cancelled. So, you will be retained with k1 minus k2 is equal to minus 2 hc by 3 lambda 2. This is the relation re retained in it. Now we shall take k2 to the other side. Or you want k2 as the equation, we will write k1 here. So from this, modifying this equation, k1 will be equal to k2, you take it to the other side. So k2 minus 2 by 3 hc by lambda 2. Now, in this hc by lambda 2, we will retain it as it is and we shall substitute hc by lambda 2 as c here in this equation. hc by lambda 2 is what? k2 plus phi naught. So, in place of hc by lambda 2, from equation 2, from equation 2, k1 becomes k2 minus 2 by 3 hc by lambda 2 will be k2 plus phi naught. Okay, again simplifying the terms, k1 is equal to, see here between these two I will take k2 common, so that you will get 1 minus 2 by 3 plus, oh sorry, minus, you will write minus 2 by 3 phi naught. So, this when you simplify it, you will get the relation as k1 is equal to k2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 phi naught. So, you can see to this equation and you can say it like, see k1 
should be k2 by 3 minus of 2 by 3 minus means what the lesser value right so when you are writing the relation you can write it as k1 will be less than k2 by 3 because you have minus sign minus means it will be obviously lesser than k2 by 3 so you can say k1 is less than k2 by 3 is the relation between k1 and k2 see k1 is less than k2 by 3 option b is the right answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today